where it gives on my lips. So yeah, if you have been holy cow train that train. Yesterday I went to CVS. Finally I walk, which was really stupid because we have a shuttle bus near our apartment. So I don't know what I was thinking, but I thought you know when I was like checking on my phone and my Google Maps says like oh gonna take 19 minutes so I thought like you know what 19 minutes is gonna be fine you know it's gonna be fast so I walked to CVS was actually okay but walking back my back hurts like hell so I was like you know what next time I should take a shuttle bus so anyways I went to CVS for the first time and if you guys don't know I actually lived in Indonesia particularly in Bali before but I have moved here for study and I'm really excited because there's so many things I wanted to try out. I can finally have the opportunity to kind of try out all this good stuff. So I'm just going to dig in. Actually, I have took out like some of the products already. So it's not like a fresh haul, but better have something than nothing, right? <laughs> so let's get started. I got two items from Tresemme. I switched to their shampoo three months ago and I've been really liking them ever since. I will do a separate video all about my hair because a lot of you guys also ask me like, what kind of shampoo I use and stuff like that for heat protectant spray I know this is like really hyped here on YouTube a lot of people said it's really amazing and I have only tried out today so I can't really say anything about it but I'm really excited because a lot of people have been saying really good things about it and it was only like four dollars really excited to try it out I'll let you guys know what I think about it so next is the Tresemme extra firm control and this one is Tres 2 spray extra hold so it's non aerosol hairspray I have been gravitating more towards Tresemme hair products lately I just been really satisfied with their products and when I saw this I was like you know what let's just give it a go it's non aerosol it's pretty eco-friendly so I would try it out as well and this one was around five something this is also really affordable I mean like this both are really awesome like the price is like Oh my god, because in Asia, most of hair products are really expensive. You can get around like from six, seven, eight, nine dollars which is pretty pricey, isn't it? And then the next one that I got is a Nivea Touch of Frangie Penny. This is really, really amazing. I love the smell. This is like a combination smell between Frangie Penny and one of that spa aromatherapy oil scent. So if you guys like that, you guys will definitely love this. And this kind of reminds me of Bali. When I smelled this in CVS, I immediately fell in love with it. It's like freaking big. <laughs> Probably gonna last me more than a month. From the description, it says like Hawaiian Frenchy Penny Scents and Sunflower Oil Pearls. So it's very hydrating. My body, it's really dry, especially on my legs because I shave my legs. This is really perfect for that and I'm really excited to try this one out. So yay! I got the Stevia's Pharmacy Eye Makeup Remover Oil Free. And this is said to be like a dupe for the Neutrogena Oil Free Eye Makeup Remover. I almost bought the Neutrogena one, but it was like so expensive. So I got this one. I have finally jumped on the bandwagon to try out the Nivea lip butter. And we don't have this in Asia, I think. That's why I've been like, you know, I have my eyes on you when I go to CVS. So I finally got this. Actually, I didn't get this in CVS. I got this from Walmart. But I thought I would slip it in because it's only one thing. And it's in Raspberry Rose Kiss. The caramel one is pretty popular, but I could only find this in Walmart near where I live. It smells really nice. It kind of smells a little bit more artificial than I thought it would be. I use this at night and it's really moisturizing and I have really bad chap lips and redness on this side. I have this tendency to peel my lips and um, overnight after I used this, it went away. I really like it. I, I had a low expectation on this because I thought it's just a lip balm but I I love it. I might pick up more because it's only like $3, $2. So love it so the last thing that i got from cvs is the one that i'm wearing on my lips and it's lip slick smoochies from covergirl and this one is in tweet me which is really cute color name because it's like tweet me if you're on twitter just tweet me this is colored lip balm and they have like different other colors but this one is the one that i really wanted to try because it's reddish color and I think it's really flirty and fun for summertime. I think bright colors are pretty in for summer so I thought you know what I'll give this one a go. It's pretty pigmented. I was expecting this to be buttery but it's not as buttery as I thought but still moisturizing so um, I would say that this one is a little bit thicker than baby lips lip balm so 
if you guys are looking for something thicker than baby lips, you guys might want to try this out. So that's it for my first ever CVS haul. I hope you guys enjoy it. I will be coming back with Korean makeup haul because I did purchase several stuff from Korean online shop and I know you guys love Asian makeup haul and stuff like that. I do love it too. Every time I see some of my friends or some beauty gurus uploaded a haul on my subscription box, I'll be like, click! I'm gonna watch it right away. Also with more tutorials, this finished filming full coverage BB cream routine, so that will probably be up sometime this week. I hope you guys stay tuned for that and if you are new to my channel don't forget to subscribe down there if you like this video and yeah don't forget to comment and like this video as well and I am on Instagram if you guys didn't know so it's under the same username which is Sunny Dahid so don't forget to say hi on Instagram I will try to reply to you guys as soon as possible and hope you guys have a wonderful day and I'll talk to you guys later bye